If you can't live without crafting, watch our video. These craft hacks will make your DIY projects much easier. Are you about to go for a picnic? Then you'll certainly need disposable tableware. But it's so plain and boring, you'll need just a couple of minutes to change it. Decorate the plastic cups with the pattern tape. Attach brightly colored tape to each cup. Cut off the excess. Now each of your guests can choose the cup to his or her taste, and they'll never muddle up the cups. The decorated cups will add some color and individual feature to your picnic. Tape the cups in advance and use them when you need. You can use tea lights to add a romantic touch, not only for warming a teapot. Let's embellish them. We'll need decorative tape. Attach it to the candle sides. Done! Take the tape with some other pattern. Tape another candle. And that's all! It took a couple of minutes to turn the ordinary tea lights into pretty little candles. We've made some DIYs and there are a few bottle tops left. We were about to throw them away when a new idea struck us. What if we make a cute little candle holder? Pick up two bottle tops with the same neck width. Paint them any shade you like. We've used blue and white acrylic paints. Use the sponge like in other crafts. When dry, join the tops. Apply the multi-purpose glue across the neck edge. Carefully attach the parts. Put in a long candle to create a cozy atmosphere. In today's tutorial, we'll show you an easy way to make cotton ball stems, chestnut boxes, and cotton wool. We'll need some chestnut boxes, three of them for a stem, a selection of twigs, remove the seeds and put the cupules on the baking sheet. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. The cupules are stone hard and shrunk slightly. With sandpaper, remove the spikes and polish the cupule petals. Next, we're going to paint the petals with dark gold. We want a rich coating. It doesn't have to be even though. Let them dry for about half an hour. We are going to use a hot glue gun to assemble the petals into a sepal. Apply some hot glue onto the edge of the petal and press the other petal tightly. Wait for five seconds until the glue cools down. Attach the third petal. Repeat the same steps with the rest of the chestnut cupules. The sepals are ready to be filled with cotton. Cut around six inches of string. Tear the cotton wool into two square pads. Layer them and puff slightly. Tie them up in a crisscrossing manner. Trim the ends of the craft string and shape the cotton, puffing and slightly pressing the petals to the center. Dab some glue onto the bottom of the sepal and fit in the cotton pod. Make two smaller cotton pods the same way. Now, time to attach the cotton pods to the twig. Squeeze some hot glue onto the cut side of the twig and press the cotton flower to it. Glue and attach the second one and then the smallest cotton pod for a complete composition. Time for the finishing touch. Add a touch of gold to the stem. Let the patches of the natural color bark show through. The handmade cotton flowers look just like the natural ones and will make for a stylish and lasting floral interior decoration. Just put the cotton ball branches into a glass or ceramic vase. In this tutorial, we will show you how to make a tasty kitchen decoration. 
a refrigerator magnet shaped as a cupcake. We'll need patterned paper, thick cardstock, a cupcake paper pattern, a hot glue gun, lace, beads of various colors, a magnet, suede lace, and three feet of twine. We'll use it for the cupcake decoration. Natural color resembles a basket. Place a cupcake pattern onto the cardboard. Trace carefully. Cut it out. Glue the pattern paper to the cardboard stencil. Cut out the cupcake image, keeping the allowance of about half an inch. Make several cuts to wrap the edges. Glue the edges to the pattern. Make a basket for a cupcake, gluing twine all around the bottom part. Roll up the twine so that it resembles a snail shell. Decorate the upper part of the magnet with beads. If the beads have holes, as in this case, place them to hide the holes. Now a bit of sweet cream. Take a piece of lace, fold it several times, and try if it fits the cupcake. Place it covering the beads a little and attach on the back of the magnet. Add a drop of glue in the middle and attach the lace. The cupcake will look neater. Tie a bow from suede lace and decorate the craft. Attach a magnet from the back. This festive decorative cupcake magnet from Beads will embellish any kitchen. Today, we'll show you how to craft quick and easy handmade butterflies using ordinary yarn. Put a protective cover on your working surface. Fold an A4 plastic wallet in half. Draw a butterfly half outline. Mark the sketch side of the wallet to keep the butterfly craft clean of the marker spots. Turn the wallet over and trace the other half. Unfold. Take a small bowl half full of white glue and cotton knitting yarn. Make about 10 wraps around your fingers. Cut it off. Soak the yarn in the glue. Take out one thread and place it at random on the wallet inside the outline. Place all the yarns one by one. There should be enough threads to keep shape, but not too much to have a tender, airy look. Keep in mind the outline. Let the glue dry. It'll take about six hours. Carefully remove the wallet from the butterfly. Pull off the dry glue. Make a body using beads, wire, and decorative flower stamens. Cut off a small piece of wire. Thread a bead. Attach it on the end. It will be the head. Add an antenna from the stamens. Twist the wire. Add several more beads from the other end. Attach the last bead with a twist. You can use threads instead of wire. Secure the end. Cut off the excess. Make several more butterflies using yarns of different colors. Fold the butterfly in half. Add some glue to the front crease. Attach the body and press over. Add a drop of glue to the antenna so it sticks upright. Attach the rainbow colored butterfly to a peg. You can use it as a curtain decoration. The white butterfly will look good as a refrigerator magnet. Add a bit of glue to the back and attach a magnet. You can use the pink butterfly as a decoration for an interior flower installation or as a garden design element. The gorgeous decorative butterflies from Yarn and Beads are ready. They will become festive interior design elements and bring your home a splash of summer and rainbow colors. We'll need bulbs with the inner part removed. We'll show you how to make it. Take used bulbs of different sizes and shapes and tools. Remove the contact with pliers. Break and take out the insulator. Crack the stem with a screwdriver. Remove the broken glass. Take out the remains with tweezers. You can use pliers. 
Prepare a few bulbs in this way. Be careful, don't get hurt. Let's get started decorating. Make a few unusual vases with green plants. Take any little plants. We've got tomato and pepper seedlings and basil. Remove soil. Carefully crush it without damaging the plant roots. Rinse them in water. Let them dry on the napkin. Place the bulb on a cardboard ring. Pour in some water. Put in the plant. We've got a mini high-tech vase. It's taken us just a few minutes to make these original decor articles. You can hang the bulbs on different levels. They'll make an awesome decoration for a photo shoot or a party. Add a little romance by turning a blank bulb into a stylish candle. Set it on the stand in the way we've shown. Hot glue the washer. We'll need cotton cord. Pour in some glycerin. It's better to use food glycerin. It's free from any impurities and contains minimum water, so it burns better. Soak the cord well. Put some embellishments in the bulb. You can use small shells and beads. Pour in the glycerin. Color it with blue dye. It's extremely bright, so use just a bit. Shake to mix. Put in the soaked cord. Light it. The cute liquid candle will help create a cozy atmosphere. Subscribe. Give your thumbs up, click the bell and watch a new video as soon as you hear it ring.